Today, I'm instructing my administration to halt funding of the World Health Organization. American taxpayers provide between $400 million and $500 million per year to the WHO. In contrast, China contributes roughly $40 million a year and even less. As the organization's leading sponsor, the United States has a duty to insist on full accountability. Today, I'm instructing my administration to halt funding of the World Health Organization while a review is conducted to assess the World Health Organization's role in severely mismanaging and covering up the spread of the coronavirus. Since its establishment in 1948, the American people have generously supported the World Health Organization to provide better health outcomes for the world and, most importantly, to help prevent global health crises. With the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, we have deep concerns whether America's generosity has been put to the best use possible. The reality is that the WHO failed to adequately obtain, vet, and share information in a timely and transparent fashion. The world depends on the WHO to work with countries to ensure that accurate information about international health threats is shared in a timely manner. And if it's not, to independently tell the world the truth about what is happening. The WHO failed in this basic duty the delays the WHO experience in declaring a public health emergency cost valuable time, tremendous amounts of time. More time was lost in the delay it took to get a team of international experts in to examine the outbreak, which we wanted to do, which they should have done. Uh, I hope uh, the funding to WHO will will uh, continue. It will be very China-centric, and uh, we have to look into that. So we're going to look into it. We pay for it. As you know, the United States is actually the largest contributor to WHO. Uh, and I have met uh, President Trump a number of uh, times uh, before, starting from 2017. And recently, we had a call conversation uh, two weeks ago. And what I know is that he's supportive, and uh, uh, I hope uh, the funding to WHO will, will uh, continue. And the relationship we have is, is uh, very uh, good, and uh, we hope that this will uh, continue. We're going to talk about the WHO next week in great detail. I didn't want to do it today. I didn't want to do it before Easter. I also didn't want to do it before we have all the facts. But over the years, many years, we've been paying them from 300 to 500 and even more, million dollars a year. China's been paying them less than 40 over the years. So we're paying them more than 10 times more than China. And they are very, very China-centric, as I said during the weeks. China-centric.